press conference. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I just wanted to know where you got them because it looked like you got a good deal for them. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. All right, we've now been joined by Ryan Blaney, driver of the number 21 Motorcraft Quick Lane Tire Auto Center Ford here at Bristol Motor Speedway. And Ryan, um, you're returning to a familiar place. You've uh, visited Victory Lane here in the NASCAR Xfinity Series and the NASCAR Camp World Truck Series. Um, I'm sure you're looking to check off the NASCAR Spring Cup Series here this weekend as well. But just talk a little bit about how um, you know that helps you go into the weekend, your approach, and, and knowing that you've been successful here, you've you've won races here, and kind of how that helps um, set up your weekend. Yeah, it definitely helps um, having success here, even though it's lower series. Uh, it's nice to kind of know the racetrack and uh, and really have. You know, it just gives you extra confidence no matter what series you're running. So that uh, that definitely makes you feel good going into the to the race weekend. Um, we didn't have the best of, of uh, cup debuts, I guess, here last year. Uh, I think we run mid-pack, but um, I think the more you learn uh, what the track does in the cup cars compared to the other two, uh, I, I feel like you can come back and, and make changes and try to make yourself better and, and know what you need for the long run. So... That's something that uh, we worked on a lot, and and um, I think it'll be – hopefully this race will go as smooth as velvet uh, this, this weekend. All right, we'll go ahead and take questions for Ryan. If you have one, please raise your hand and state your name and affiliation, and we're going to start up front with Mike. Mike, <clears throat> Mike Henry, USA Today. Ryan, where, where are you now as opposed to where you thought you might be this, this deep into the season uh, and this first full-time year? Uh, we're definitely not – where we want to be obviously we've had some uh some some runs that have been troubling and whether it was our doing or not and last weekend for texas or at texas was definitely not the best of weekends we we had a, a really long 500 mile race there um but you, you know it's the way you kind of rebound from those i think that speak about your team and, and how you guys can how the team can come back you know we had a uh, a great comeback at Las Vegas after Atlanta troubles, and I think that speaks a lot for our team. So, it's um, it's been going okay this year, but we just need to find a little bit more speed and a little bit more consistency. And I think that'll that'll get our season back on track, and and we'll be able to uh, hopefully like buy some new velvet sheets or something like that, or something like that. That'll help. All right, we'll go to Alan. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> Don't worry about it, man. All right. I think you just want to bet or something. Uh, Alan Kavana, Fox Sports. Ryan, I know you've been here before in a cup car, but in, in the tracks that you do go to, um, you know, fresh in, in a cup car, I mean, is there a routine, th those first few laps of practice, you know, getting used to it? Uh, you know, is, is there a checklist in your mind? Is that difficult? Uh, what's your approach? Yeah, uh, it's definitely a lot more difficult here, I feel like, than most other places, just because the laps are, are so short and so quick. And you always have to keep in mind of if cars are moving up the racetrack and finding speed and um, you know the further you move up this track is is really smooth uh, pretty much like velvet and uh, you'll be able to find grip up there and uh, <laughs> um, be able to do that so it'll take a few laps to get uh, get used to but I think <laughs> uh, I think once we do that it'll be good all right, we'll go to Dustin Long next. Uh, two, Dustin Long, NBC Sports. Two questions. One, who's the bet with on the, on the velvet? Is this Daryl? <laughs> no one, man. It's, I just like the word. <laughs> velvet. I had some velvet ice cream back there in the cooler. It was really good. I did want to ask you, um, obviously last year with uh, running half the season, you got an opportunity to run some of these longer races, and I – you did Darlington, you did uh, this race uh, here at this track. Having completed uh, this first part of the season running th th three 500 milers, how have you kind of uh, worked on your conditioning? How is it, have you kind of handled it with that experience with these, these longer races and, and the challenges you've had to face and what you've had to do to, to be stronger at, at the end of these races? Yeah, I feel like I haven't really changed that much, to be honest with you, as far as kind of preparation anything like that. Uh, well, I got a small taste of it last year, running half the schedule and, you know, we were able to do a handful of 500 mile races. We did the, the 600 uh, at Charlotte. So 
not the, not a lot of that has changed. I feel like the biggest thing, you know, it's not really physical for me. It's more mental and, and trying to keep mentally focused for 500 miles. And I think that's what most of the drivers fight, and uh, that's something I've been trying to work on and, and make better. So uh, that's helped out, honestly, a lot. Uh, running, just, I don't know, we just trying to be mentally tough. It's hard to work on. It's, it's very tough to, to try to do, and, you know, Trust me, I'm trying to find ways to get better at it and try to learn how to be mentally tough, whether that's that's talking to other athletes and how they they prepare. You know, I had I actually I had a great opportunity to um, kind of train with D'Angelo Williams. Uh, he plays for the Steelers now, but uh, he was at uh, in Charlotte, and I was I was hanging out with him a little bit, and he kind of told me his preparation, what he does, and um, you know, mentally and and the NFL. That's a it's a pretty big mental sport, you know. You get in someone's head, or, or to be mentally tough and everything like that. So, he had some really good pointers, and um, you know, I kind of stepped back and look at it, and it was it made a lot of sense. So, uh, just stuff like that, and trying to get advice from other people and, and how they try to overcome it, I think is the biggest thing. All right, we're gonna take our final two questions from Jerry and then Lee. Go ahead, Jerry. Jerry Jordan, former station network and kicking the tires. Um, we had Chase in here earlier, and you in here now. With both of you guys in your your first full years, a lot of talk about both of you being rookies. And do you, does any of that play in and into what you're doing as far as you know your your goals? And is there any rivalries uh, building between the two of you guys? No, there's really been no rivalry um, between us. It's uh, it's been pretty fun to race with Chase every single weekend. You know, I haven't really had that opportunity to do that um, ever. We never really raced together every single weekend. Even growing up in late models, uh, we were never around each other that much. So it's nice to, to do that and, and have fun with your friends on the racetrack. And they've been running really, really well uh, the past month or so. They've been very strong. And it's been tough to keep up with them. And uh, they do a great job over there. So it's uh, it's just been fun and just trying to get our cars better. But, you know, you, you notice where they're running. I, I like to notice or know where my teammates are running and where some, some friends of mine are running on the racetrack. And, uh, but at the same time, you have to go back and worry about your own deal and try to make your own car better. So that's something that I've, uh, you know, definitely been trying to work on is, you know, it's great that they're running good, but we have to make sure our car is better and just worry about our own program. All right, Lee, go ahead. It's your motorsport.com. Can you talk a little bit about your pit crew? Are you, do you have like a development pit crew for Penske or is it the former Wood Brothers pit crew? And uh can you just kind of talk about what the you know where they came from and and what their background is and, and yeah is, um, is velvet <clears throat> the name of a stripper you met or something wow <laughs> wow we went there huh you got you brought that in the media center this morning all right no it's not by the way um back to your question <laughs> leave strippers out of it but uh <laughs> um our pit crew is uh, it's kind of a mixture of of guys from – we brought in uh, a couple guys, both the front and rear changer are from MWR last year, and they do a, a great job. They've been in the sport for a really long time. And then everyone else has been a developmental team for Penske over the past handful of years, uh, whether that was on the Xfinity car or, or messing around. Uh, we used to have a relationship with the 95 car. Uh, so it's kind of a mixture of those guys, but they've worked together for a long time. Really, besides the changers, they've worked together for years. Uh, but the changers, they've been uh, really uh, kind of welcoming to everybody else, and they've gone into the family really well. So, um, you know, well, they all have mistakes. I know we had a loose wheel last week, and it, it hurt us. But, you know, I make mistakes on the racetrack, and, and you know, they might mess up on pit road, and it's a team deal, and we have to be there for each other. Uh, no matter what, because no one's perfect, and, and we're always gonna have each other backs. I think, and I think that's what this team does so well. Is you know they they can forgive me if I make a mistake, and I can I can easily forgive them. So it's all about going forward, and um, they're just getting better and better as they work together. So I think uh, in the coming weeks and as they work together more, it's just gonna get stronger. Thank you. Yeah, Ryan, we appreciate your time this Thanks. morning. We wish you the best of luck this weekend. Thanks. Cut me off. <laughs>